श्रीमाते भक्ति स्वामी नमस्ते सरस्वते देव गौरवाणी प्रचारिने निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पश्चत देशतारी श्री कृष्ण चैतन प्रभु नितानंद श्री अदैत गदाधर शिवाशि गौर भक्त बिंद श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नितानंद श्री अदैत गदाधर शिवाशि गौर भक्त बिंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे भीतर अशी दीक्षु रणे दिख पति कमनीय दशम खमोली बलि रमनीय केशव धृत राम शरीर जय जगदीश हरे जय जगदीश हरे जय जगदीश हरे केशवधृता राम शरीर जय जगदीश हरे जय जगदीश हरे जय जगदीश हरे जय श्री रामचंद्र जय श्री रामचंद्र श्री रामचंद्र जय श्री रामचंद्र सीताराम 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 रघुपति राघव राजा राम पति तपन सीताराम सीता जय सीता सीता जय सीता सीता जय सीता सीता जय सीता जय प्रभु पाद 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 पाद जय प्रभु पाद गुरुदेव 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 जय जय गुरुदेव
Hare Krishna, dear Prabhus, mothers, dear devotees, thank you for joining. <laughs> That's funny, Pandit Sivas Prabhu is here. Hare Krishna Prabhu. <laughs> You I know. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Seriously. And everybody was asking me, like, hey, you were on this call for four hours. What was going on? I was like, this is, was a very important call. We had a production issue. I had to be over there. And so so there you go. So, <laughs> yeah. That is it. But anyway, I'm home now. But I'm making dinner prasadam. I think I just finished. There's five minutes and then I'll be all yours. I'll have full attention. Thank okay. you, Guru. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to recite, thank you. I'm going to recite 108 names of Lord Ramachandra just for the invoking the auspiciousness. And this is from Ishkan Desire Tree. I found it. They posted. Om Sri Ramaya Namaha, Om Ramabhadraya Namaha, Om Ramachandraya Namaha, Om Shashavataya Namaha, Om Rajibalochanaya Namaha, Om Srimate Namaha, Om Rajendraya Namaha, Om Raghupangavaya Namaha, Om Janaki Ballabhaya Namaha, Om Jaitaraya Namaha, Om Jitamritaya Namaha, Om Janardanaya Namaha, Om Vishamitra Priyaya Namaha, Om Dantaya Namaha, Om Sharantarana Tatparaya Namaha, Om Bali Pramathanaya Namaha, Om Bigmine Namaha, Om Sattavache Namaha, Om Sattavikramaya Namaha, Om Sattabrataya Namaha, Om Bratadharaya Namaha, Om Sadahanumandasaritaya Namaha, Om Kaushalaya Namaha, Om Karadhangshine Namaha, Om Viradhavana Panditaya Namaha, Om Vivishana Paritrate Namaha, Om Kada Odanda Khandavadaya Namaha, Om Satapatala Prabhedre Namaha, Om Dasa Griva Shiraya Namaha, Om Jamadagnaya Mahapradapadhalanaya Namaha, Om Tatanka Kaya Namaha, Om Vedanta Saraya Namaha, Om Vedatmane Namaha, Om Vavargasya Veshajaya Namaha, Om Dusantari Shirantere Namaha, Om Trimurtaye Namaha, Om Trigunatmakaya Namaha, Om Tribikramaya Namaha, Om Tilokatamane Namaha, Om Punna Charitra Kirtanaya Namaha, Om Triloka Rakshaya Namaha, Om Dhanvini Namaha, Om Dandakaran Kat. Tanaya Namaha, Om Ahalaya Sapamanaya Namaha, 
ओम पितृभक्ताय नम ओं वर प्रदा नम ओं जितेन्द्रििय नम ओं जित क्रोधा नम ओं जितामृताय नम ओं जगद्गुरव नम ओं रीक्षर संगीता नम ओं चित्रकूट संश्राय नम ओं जयंतरदाय नम ओं सुमित्रपुत्र सेताय नम ओं सर्वेवादिदेवाय नम ओं मृतवानर जीवनाय नम ओं मयामरीचंत्रे नम महादेवाय नम ओं महाभुजाय नम ओं सर्वेवसुताय नम ओं सौमाय नम ओं ब्रह्मनाय नम ओं मुनीसंस्तुताय नम ओं महाजोगिने नम महाधाराय नम ओं सुगपेपीता प्रजदाय नम ओं सर्वपुनादी कपलाय नम ओं स्मित सर्वनाय नम ओं आदिपुरुषा नम ओं परम पुषा नम ओं महापुरुषा नम ओं पुनदयाय नम ओं दयाय शाराय नम ओं पुराण पुरुषोत्तमाय नम ओं स्मित वक्ताय नम ओं मितभाषिने नम ओं पूर्वभाषिने नम ओं राघवाय नम ओम अनंत गुण गंभीराय नम ओं धीरदत्त गुणत्वाय नम ओं मया मनुषरिताय नम ओं महादेवा पूजिताय नम ओं शेतकृते नम ओं जित वरसाय नम ओं सर्वतीर्थमाय नम ओं हर नम ओं श्याम गाय नम ओं सुंदराय नम ओं सूराय नम ओं पीतवाशे नम ओं धनुराय नम ओं सर्वजनाधिपत नम ओं जज्वीने नम ओं जरमरणवर्जिताय नम विभीषाण प्रतीशता नम ओं सर्वरणवर्जिताय नम ओं परमात्म नम ओं परब्रह्मणे नम ओं सचिनंदन विग्रहाय नम ओं परमाशे ज्योतिषे नम ओं परस्म धामिने नम ओं प्रकाशाय नम ओं प्रतपाराय नम ओं परेशाय नम ओं परकाय नम ओं पराय नम ओं सर्वदेवतात्मकाय नम ओं परस्म नम श्री रामचंद्र भगवान की जय ओके and there is a thousand eight name which we will read next year or sometime later thousand eight name will take an hour hari krishna prabhu and mothers we had a last few days some classes on ram navami but today we will discuss further on ram navami and then from next week we'll start bhagavad gita again so i created some question and just to in case if you 
had that thought in your mind, hopefully it will be nourished. So let us offer our Pushpanjali to Srila Prabhupada and then we can begin. Om Jnanati Mirandhasa Genanjana Salakaya Chakshurun Militam Jena Tashmai Sri Guru Venamaha Sri Chaitanya Manovishtam Stapitam Jena Bhutale Shayam Rupa Kadamahiyam Dadati Shapadantikam Pandeham Sri Guru Sri Juta Padakamalam Sri Guru Nvashnabangshya Sri Rupam Sagrajatam Sagana Raghunathanitam Tam Sajeevam Sadaitam Sabadhutam Parijana Saitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Sri Radha Krishna Padan Sagana Lalita Sri Vishakhanitangsha Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prashtaya Bhutale Shimate Bhakti Vedanta Swamini Tinamine Namaste Sarasati Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Sunnabhadi Paschatadi Shatarine Vancha Kalpa Taru Vesha Kripa Sindhu Bhai Vacha Pratitanam Prabhani Bho Vishnu Bho Namo Nama Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nittananda Shiyadeita Gadadhar Sivashadi Gauravakta Vinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. To accept Lord Ramachandra as Supreme Lord, maybe we can relate some pastimes. Then it becomes easy. So question created, I created that <clears throat> Goruda, just like we have a human species, there is a bird species. Gorura is a superior, like a Brahmana, in amongst our human race. Brahmanas are supposed to be culturally good leader, spiritual leader, guide the soul, whatever level of consciousness they are to go higher. And sannyasis are given more higher than Brahmanas are uh, highest leader of the Varna. And sannyasis are the highest leader of ashram and Borna, both. So similarly, in the bird species, there is a higher and lower also. Like Gorura considered, or you can say eagle, they are considered superior. But in Ramlila, we see that a Gorura, the eternal associate, had to learn from an inferior crow. Crow is considered very low, like Sudra, or outcast. And you'll see, by nature, crow eats wherever the dirt, dirty places. You'll see the crows are there. Eagle, eagle we don't, you don't see in the dirty place. They, are, they live in a very high mountain, trees. Why did Gorura, who was superior, have to learn from an inferior crow about how the divinity revelation is not by selection or election, but by divine intervention with compassion, you can say. So, one time, Sri Ram and Lakshman, in their... I'm not going to give the entire pastimes, but part of it to come to this, because I want to read as many questions possible. They came under bound by Nagopas, snake ropes. That was 
in Mahiravan's place. Somebody referred to me the other day that Sri Lanka, underneath, the, underneath Sri Lanka's land, there is a tunnel goes all the way it comes to Brazil. <laughs> where on uh, I, I don't know whether they have actually proof, but they say there is because Amazon forest hardly anybody goes inside. It's scary. So one part they have a arbol, herbs they grow. Other part is very deep jungle where giant snakes and all are there. And they say there is a tunnel from Brazil to Sri Lanka. So anyway, they said Lord Ram and Lakshman were brought into here. They became unconscious and it was a very helpless situation. Of course, for the Leela, they are Bhagavan, it's nothing to worry about it. But that's the Hare Krishna philosophy and we understand, we believe it. But average people, they don't know. So by the instruction of Narad Muni, Narad Muni came over there. He immediately uh, told Hanumanji what to do. Hanuman, go get Garura. Any snake anywhere in the world, they see Garura, they disappear. So every, every creature has a purpose of creation. There is nothing accidental or whimsical. There is a reason how everything is harmonized by different species. So when Gorura arrived, just by smelling the scent of his body, all the snake fled. Gorura then had a doubt. He thought, who is this person? Can it be Ram, the Supreme Person of God? No. This person can never be Ram. I am the servant of Lord Ram. By the mere glance of Ram, those snakes would have left immediately. I don't have to come to scare them. They would not be able to even come to Ram. Yet, I saw them, they were bound by those snakes. When I came by my influence, they quickly gave up this person. So who is he? That's the question Gorura put forward. Who is he? Gorura went to his Gurudev. Who is Gorura's Gurudev? Lord Shiva. But his Gurudev knows already what is in his mind. So he told him, I have no time. I, I am going somewhere just now. You can ask somebody else. Actually, it will be good if you go to Kag Bhusandi. Kag Bhusandi. Now, Kag Bhusandi means a name of a crow named Bhusandi. Famous. But it's very hard. I don't know. You all live in the West. Maybe you may not relate. Unless you still have a connection with India. You'll think like, if you tell a Brahmana to learn something from an outcast or Sudra, it's like the biggest insult you can do. We may not understand because we see from a Western view. It's like, why? We can learn from anybody who has the knowledge. That is not a <laughs> way they think. They think my last name is Chatterjee or Mishra. And if somebody's last name is, oh, I don't know, what is Sudra last name? Anyway, Mr. Das. Yeah, Das is Sudra actually. In Hare Krishna temple, everybody has the last name Das because we are servant. So then it will be very difficult for a Brahmana to learn on a material level. So then he said, go and learn from Kagbhusandi. 
you are the king of the bird. You should go to the most wretched among all bird, a crow. You should go there. So Sankara, Lord Shiva, gave this instruction in order to remove Garura's pride. Garura approached Kag Bhushandi. But before that, actually, he didn't felt like to do that. He went to Brahma. Garura has a power to just fly, you know, like a, sometime you have a WhatsApp contact with the GBC or uh, Iskan Guru that you can immediately send a text. Not everybody does this or have access to that. So similarly, Garura has access to fly in Brahmaji's place in a moment, fly in Lord Shiva's place. It's nice to have some access, like Narad Muni has. He can be anywhere he wants. So after that, Garura approach. Brahmaji, Brahmaji say, Brahmaji already knows why he has come. He said, I don't have a time. The same thing. <laughs> you go to Kak Bhushandi. He's thinking, why everybody is telling me to go to Kak Bhushandi? Okay, let me go. Because it's kind of a little insult because crow is lowest and eagle is highest. Of course, in our Ishkan, we don't do that. Whoever has more bhakti, we respect that. That's what Mahaprabhu did. And that's what Mahaprabhu told us to do it. Like Prahlad Maharaj. He's a five years old boy. Dhruva Maharaj, five years old boy. They are more important than Uttanapada or Hiranyakashipu. We learn from them. We don't learn from Hiranyakashipu. So then finally... He didn't want to come. So he came where Kak Bhushandi is. And he saw he's speaking to a big audience of all the birds, dogs, stork, all kinds of birds around. So Gururo is a giant bird and is a top class. So he is behind the bush trying to find out what this Kak Bhushandi is talking. So Kak Bhushandi in case if you wonder, in the animal world, do they talk about God? Well, according to this, yes, they do. Maybe you haven't met yet <laughs> those kind of uh, birds or beasts. I mean, in spiritual world, there is a Sukha and Sari. There's a two birds competing each other. One is trying to promote Radharani, one is trying to promote Krishna. And they constantly talk. They are talking, each other competing. It's so attractive. Even Lord Chaitanya fell for it. He was like listening and listening when he came to Vrindavan. It's so pleasing to the heart. So then, Kagbushandi speaking. At one point, Gorura is listening. Okay, he's talking something about some philosophy. Just imagine, Crow is talking of philosophy. But he's not a crow, he's a devotee. He has a form of the crow. So then, at one point, when Kalbhushandi says, just like the incarnation, Lord Ramachandra, I had a doubt. Guru said, I have the same doubt. So then he did not care. So this is a good. He didn't care for who thinks what. He just came nearby to hear. So that eagerness to hear was very nice. Then Kak Bhushandi says, let me tell you how I found out about Lord Ramachandra. I heard the news he is, I heard the news he is a Supreme Lord. But in my mind, I was thinking, really? Supreme Lord came? Where? Which village? Which country? So I did fly and go, went all the way. Now, in case, I'm not going to tell the story today, but in case, if you wonder who is the Kak Bhushandi, there's a whole pastime how he was cursed to become a crow. But he's a sage. He was a, he had a human body who was a very advanced devotee, but he met another sage. But, you know, problem is, 
Even in Mahabharata also we see, and Ramayana also we see, the anger is so dangerous. Anger is so dangerous. These three things are very dangerous. The greed, lust, and anger. So, Kak Bhushandi finally came to Ayuddha. And he was thinking, is this really supreme absolute truth? This boy? At that time, Lord Ramachandra, young boy, small boy, he used to love birds. And Mother Koshala, they made some nice pancake called pita. And he was breaking the pancake and taking a little bit in his mouth and feeding the birds. Just like Children does in a normal village. I saw that. And Crow Bhushandi was thinking, really? This boy is the Supreme Bhagavan appeared? I'm not going to just accept it. I'm going to test it out. That's not bad, actually. I, I thought about it. It's not bad to test. Otherwise, it will be, it may be blind faith. So at one point, the Kag Bhushandi flow came very near. And there is a little bird, different kinds of bird. And Ramachandra eating, throwing, eating, throwing. It's giving his remnants, I guess. <laughs> Delivering all those birds. At one point, the crow is noticing. He has the half pancake pita. And he's eating, breaking. And the uh, Bhushundi came and whoosh, took the oh sorry, took the uh, pancake from the hand and fly away in the tree a little far. Started eating, but you know when you take the remnants of the by any means, of course here is not a politely he took it, but still by any means when you honor the prasadam, there is an effect of the prasadam. Prashadam means whatever Lord eats, uh, after that is all prashad. <laughs> That's what the definition of prashad. Prashad is sarva dukkha nam. So then, Lord Ramchandra started crying. And Bhushandi was thinking, That's not God. If he's crying, because I took the pancake and now he doesn't have pancake. But he is the owner of unlimited pancake. Why he is crying for little pancake? If he is the supreme God, then how is possible? So he is crying, crying, crying. Then the maid servant reported to Mother Kosola. She ran there. Oh no, baby, don't cry. I have more pancake. I'll give you. So she brought more pancake. And he wiped his tears. He started eating and throwing to the bird. And Bhushan is thinking, this is bizarre. Okay, his mother gave more pancake, but he was crying. That means he did not know that I took the pancake by force. So I had more power than him. But if he is Supreme Lord, or maybe something is not, or maybe he is putting me into trap. You know, just going through like little back and forth, some commotion, emotion game. Then same thing is doing, eating, throwing, eating, throwing, eating, throwing. At one point, Bhushundi again did it. Whoosh, grab it from the hand and fly away. And, it, and Lord Ramchandra again started crying. This time he's thinking, this is not possible. How can God do that? But if I fly away, then somebody say, did you test it? Just by taking some pita away, some pancake away, that doesn't prove that he's not God or he's God. You have to, you have to do a little more test. Okay, so Bhushanbi came nearby. He's feeling guilty that he did it. What the boy will do, this little boy, Ramchandos, that Everybody else, Hanuma, including Hanumanji, claim he is a supreme god. 
So at one point, he's just, because Bhushan is also devotee, he's praying to Narayan. If you are the same, show me your opulence, majestic aspect. Where are it? Evoke my submission. I want that experience. So he's praying, even though he's a crow. Don't ask me how the crow prays. I'm just repeating what I remember hearing. <laughs> I was probably worse than crow, but I don't remember. So anyway, at one point, the Bhushandi was looking, looking, looking. Uh, he saw he's entering in the mouth of Ramachandra. And that's it. He's gone. He found himself in the middle of a big universe. Thousands of mountains, thousands of rivers, ocean, village, town. Flying, 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 flying. Then fly away to another universe. Flying, flying, so many country, village, mountain, island, going to another universe. After hundreds of universe flying, this Bhushandi started thinking, where am I? Am I inside that boy's body or outside? I am flying outside from one mountain to another mountain. I am not an ordinary bird. I have given some power to fly like eagle. But this is very mysterious. So after flying for thousands and thousands and millions of years, I was praying. I, if it is true, then I will accept that this is my supreme personality of God and my Lord. All of a sudden, Lord Ramchandra speed out. Phew, just like that. And then the <laughs> Bhushandi came out and Bhushandi is like paid obeisances. And then <laughs> Ramchandra smiled at him. I cannot believe it. But that time, Lord Ramchandra told me, do not reveal my manifestation to anyone yet. When time comes, I leave this world, they will know, but not now. So that time, Pushundi was so hypnotized, he said, I was shocked that he's acting as a small, innocent child. And I took away pancake and he was crying. This is... Supreme absolute truth. Then Gorura fell back. Oh my gosh, I was doubting. I'm glad I was directed to come to hear from this crow named Bhushandi. And then he went back to Hanumanji and he apologized. He said, you are right. This is Lord Ramchandra, the supreme absolute truth. Somebody sent me a text other day. Is there any common analogy? I'm just jumping from one question to another question. I was writing, last two days I was piling up some question and so, just to me. That the first demon Lord Ram killed was Taraka. And first demon Krishna killed was Putana. Is there a significance why they are bo both women? See, what kind of question is that? <laughs> See, God, when he comes, he's not considering, well, should I kill a woman first or man first? He's not interested of killing. <laughs> he's interested of purifying. So I found some answer from the Beda base and also uh, Krittibhas Ujha Ramayana in Bengali. In the case of Ram, it was to show a significance of him following the orders of the senior, you know, of his senior, like Guru, you can say, Vishamitra. Dharma says, no, according to Dharma, you are not supposed to kill a woman. But Vishamitra said, yes, if you think, 
it is not it is not actually ram killed toraka it is bishamitra told him that she is collecting all this stool and urine and dump it on our jagastha and if you think how is that bishamitra shila prabhupad actually said this i heard this many times shila prabhupad said bishamitra was so powerful he could have said you all demon die and they would be dead so question is why didn't he just say it because bishamitra is a one of the you know these two personality parashuram and bishamitra they made the biggest mess i hope they forgive me i'm not because they can hear uh biggest mess in a good sense because one comes from a khatriya family try to act as a brahmana and another one born in a brahmana try to act as a khatriya just the opposite and just these two reason india or vedic culture completely topsy turvy like completely changed the face value of the dharma changed for good cause i don't mean in a wrong cause good cause so these two figure are very powerful and through them we learn a lot because first he had a, you know if you think of bishamitra he had his first fall down was due to the lust and manoka uh, where the sukuntala uh, appeared uh, and then next time when uh, indra sent ramba that time he is thinking oh no i am not going to fall for it what is that means what is, that means like whatever pious credit we get even though we hear naha vikrama nashasti pratyabayo na vidyate salpam api yasya dharmasya trayate mahato bhaya whatever bhakti we um, advance in uh, advance toward the goal it's not lost but it it is not lost in one sense but it can take a detour you can prolong there are many many example a famous verse that mahaprabhu quote it's scary and we read this once a week every week saturday we read it in alachwa बहु जन्म करे जदि श्रवण कीर्तन तब तो ना पाए कृष्ण पदे प्रेम धन बहु जन्म एंड द ट्रांसलेशन आई डोंट रिमेंबर बट आई होप आई कैन रिमेंबर बिकॉज रिसाइटिंग फॉर मेनी मंथ्स इफ if the ten offenses is invested in chanting of hari krishna mahamantra despite his endeavor to chant for many births he will not get the love of god at which is the ultimate goal of this chanting i think so this is what translation i remember because i recite this every saturday with the devotees so it's supposed to remembering so this is very interesting that uh, you can chant for millions now proper translate bahu janma i don't know what is bahu janma you can literally say bahu means many janma means birth you can say that but proper writes millions of birth that's like a big number proper put a number now bahu is a plural is not a number it's just a, i don't know plural is a number maybe <laughs> <laughs> but many means what what is many means could be million could be thousand could be anyway so the point is that we need to guard ourselves it's not like we should just life after life keep on going in bhakti and no we have to pay attention why should we come back proper did not say we should come back nobody said no acharya said we should come back every acharya says get out even mahapur says so so it's interesting that uh, through bishamitra we learned a lot a good lesson that when ramba came next one so he thought okay i'm not going to fall for this last but that time 
He was so angry with Indra. He said, you send this girl. I'm going to curse her. That's it. He lost his power of whole year austerity. Just <laughs> whole year, 365 days. You severely do austerity to accumulate this pious credit. And in one moment, for two minutes anger, the whole thing is like it made a hole and took all the things out of your heart. It's a horrible thing. I'm laughing. Of course, Vishwamitra is a very advanced soul, but still, he, he taught us a lot. So, well, I see why Prabhupada says that he could kill, but he does not kill. He wants Lord Ram. Why? Because Vishwamitra, he was a Kshatriya, born, but he wanted to act as a Brahma Rishi. Brahma Rishi, the word Rishi means internal control means they don't need outside happiness because they have a control in their senses in, in the, through the connection with God. And externally, they rule. So they're called Rajoshi. But he wanted to become Brahmarshi. So externally, Brahmana, internally connected with God. So very nice. So he did not want to waste his power by killing the Taraka. He could. He was so powerful. But he knows that Lord Ram is Supreme God. Just to refresh that, I can tell you how much he knows Ram. Vishwamitra is another personality. Through him also we can learn who is God. When he came to Dasarath, he was just outside. That time, Lord Ramchandra was 12 years old. And it's very interestingly, they are having the astrological chart done. He need to get married. So as they are discussing, all of a sudden, Vishwamitra just arrived outside. When the news went, this is a very nice, the culture, Vedic culture is so sweet, so beautiful. That as soon as Dasarath heard, he immediately came out from his, he got up from his Singhasan and came out with folded hand, welcoming Vishwamitra. He said, you are a great sage. You know, of course, you all do it, but I don't have to tell you. But it's always good we learn from this Ramayana. That Vishamitra, uh, Dasarath, he smiled and welcomed with a folded hand to a powerful sage. And our Acharya gave a commentary, how to receive and welcome a sadhu. Sometimes we may think like, oh, I know this Maharaj. Oh, I know this Mataji. Oh, I know this. No, no. It's always good to respect them as a representative of God, representative of my object of love, Krishna. So we have to be very careful. And really, um, with service attitude, if we welcome them, then we will be the recipient of their mercy. So King Dasara, he welcomed them. And he was very polite. And he was very uh, gentle. Please come, please come. I don't have a time to come inside now. I have come on a mission. My all this jagna stall, the, the performing jagna places are being ruined by this demoniac Taraka, Marichi, you know, Subahu. They're like making very dirty, all pouring ashes, stool, urine from the sky. And we cannot, because they know that, they, they, you know, when the Hare Krishna movement grows, the demoniac feel, demoniac nature people feel they're losing their power. They, they, they may attack us. I mean, they may, of course, Prabhupada did say that. But we should not be afraid. We should always depend on Krishna and Krishna always will protect us. Prahlad Maharaj had no enemy, as Prabhupada said, until he opened his mouth glorifying Krishna. 
As soon as he did that, his father became the enemy. <laughs> Before that, no enemy. So, when Vishamitra made it very clear statement to Dasarath, I don't have time. I need to, I, I have come to take your son, Ram. Now, the Kula Guru or family spiritual master, Vaishishta, he made Dasarath understand about Vishamitra. He said, he has the same power like me. Give what he wants. Then King Dasarath says, I'm ready to give you, offer you anything you want. He said, yes, I have come to take your son. Ram. King Dasarath almost lost his life because he used to love Ram. King Dasarath has some idea, but he did not know the opulence aspect of Ram. In his previous life, as a Manu, he did severe austerity. Uh, Sometimes, some of the parents are a position. Like Aditi and Kashyapa, Boshudev and Devuki, their position. Some living entity can take over those positions. You can become parents of Krishna. But you cannot become parents of, uh, of Krishna in Vrindavan as a Nanda and Jasoda. Those are sealed, what do you call, blocked. Uh, they, are, they are eternally, they are, those are not positions nobody can take. So as a Manu Maharaj, due to severe austerity, he came as a King Dasarath. So Manu Maharaj, in his austerity, uh, there's a beautiful pastimes are given. How it made it eligible to come and take that position of King Dasarath. So this is a position that he, he came. So he, he, just like Putana, even demon Putana, uh, or, or even Taraka, these are also position. Like Hiranyakashipu, Ravana, these are also position. And then personality enters into it. That kind of men mentality, personality. Uh, one has to be qualified in order for God to come down to <laughs> destroy. There has to be, they have to be really not bad, tremendous bad, horrible bad. I don't know what's the word. Ugly bad or something like that. So then anyway, so then uh, here we find that uh, Vishamitra, when he was uh, Approaching, then King Dasarath says, I am Khatriya. I have thousands of battalion. I can go and kill all your enemy. He said, I have come to get Ram. Either you give Ram or I go. King Dasarath understood that this is a serious case, but he could not of course, there is a version given that Dasarath almost fainted. He became lifeless. But anyway, that Vaishishta counseled because he's a Kula Guru. He said, give him. Give what he wants. So finally, he gave him. But <laughs> when he gave Ram Lakshman, so Vishamitra take Ram Lakshman. They walked for a while. And after a while, the road split. One road, both road goes to his ashram, but one road takes only shortcut. Overnight, they can cross. They will reach their destiny. And the other one will take long, many, many days. So he asks, which road should we take? One will take no problem, no danger. It will take many days. But this will take just after a few hours we will be there. But danger, 
on the road. There's too many demons. So then Ram and Lakshman answered, why you need to fight and disturb? We better take the easy road. It will take a few days. It's okay. So come with me. He comes back. <laughs> he comes back in the courtyard of Dashara. Dashara! You try to cheat me. I'll destroy you. Vaishishtra immediately ran. What did you do? He said, this is not Ram and Lakshmi. Oh, nobody knew. See how I, I, four brothers are there, all handsome, young, you know, 12 years old. But Vishamitra knows how to test a god. Then which is to ask, what, what happened? What happened? This is not Ram Lakshman. He said, no, I could not give because I cannot separate Ram. I'll die. He said, who are they? This is Parat and Satrugna. No, 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 no. Don't do this. Don't do this. Trust me. They will bring more name, fame, opulence. They will bring you good fortune. Let them go. Let them go. He was crying and crying. Finally, Ram and Lakshman comes. But they all four look handsome. It's very difficult to know. But Vishwamitra knows. So he takes these two brothers again. Okay. This is a shortcut road. Few hours we will go to our ashram. But very dangerous. Taroka, Marichi. They are, they are very powerful demons. We can go also this route, many days, but peaceful. Ram says, Gurudev, by your power, whichever road you like, but by your power, we can destroy any obstacle. No problem. Yes, this is Ram. Then he gave him mantra. This is how Ram is proven. So I gave you two. One was that... Um, uh, Gururas, confusion or doubts about Ram's supremacy. Huh? Uh, or you can say um, he had to learn. <laughs> He's a superior, but he had to learn from an inferior about how the divinity revelation is not by selection or election, <laughs> but by divine intervention with compassion. So this is how he proved that Ramchandra is Supreme Personal Dev Godhead. And the second, I just uh, narrated, how Vishamitra uh, also proved who is Ram, how to test who is the Supreme. Even though you cannot put a logic, all four brothers are Vishnu Dattva. Yes, yes, yes. All this logic you can put, but not to Vishamitra. He knows. It's a very advanced Rishi. Uh, same Vishamitra came in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's Lila as a Banamali. Uh, to, he became the matchmaker between Mother Vishnu Priya and Nimai. So these are nice. So you can, you can uh, think about it. There are other questions, but we have two minutes only. Inattention, I have another class, that's why. Inattention brings other unwanted things. So should we not perform our service due to inattention? This is also explained very nicely in Ramayana. Another question also we made. Ravana was terrorizing the universe, but at the same time, Dasharat was ruling the entire planet. How does that make sense? Well, there is an answer. Maybe tomorrow. In our, another question, we created also in our process. Shakaras is higher than Daisharas. But we see Hanumanji is a perfect emblem of servitorship, Daisharas. Whereas Sugrib seems to be almost doubtful. How do we understand this? Being a superior Rasa. 
So that we can discuss also. What is the conclusion of Goryo Siddhanta understanding from Bhakti, through Bhakti Siddhanta Sushoshwati Thakur and Prabhupada about Lord Ram? So these are the few questions and more questions are there also. Uh, another question I found also while well, I was reading Ninth Kanto, I will not give you the hint, but you think, where is it? Bhagavatam says Lord Ram went to Brahma Jyoti. What? Brahma Jyoti? <laughs> you think Sukhdev Goswami could do a mistake? No, no, careful, careful. I didn't say that. I was just testing it. Yes, it, there is a meaning. There is a hidden meaning on it. So, looking forward to see all of you tomorrow. If you have time, during the 9.30 morning, we'll discuss further and also finish the Bhagavad Gita. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Bhagavan Sri Ramachandra ki jai. Ki jai Hanuman ji ki jai. Bhagavan Sri Vishnu Bindaki jai Shila Prabhupada.